In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create custom, unique phone backgrounds using Midjourney version five. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. If you're new to Midjourney, I highly recommend you check out the intro video that I created, but um, we're just gonna jump right into it. So the first thing you need to do is figure out if you're gonna create a phone background, what is the aspect ratio of your device? So I found this page here, iosref.com, and they have different common aspect ratios for iPhones, and uh, as well as iPad and iPod Touch. I don't even know if they still make those, but um, so you can see here, this is our aspect ratio. So this is the number here that we wanna remember. And then we can go into Discord, and we can start our chat with the Midjourney bot. So for our first prompt, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and type it in. All right, so for our first prompt, we have a detailed sunset phone background with palm tree silhouettes and the sun reflecting on the ocean water and then dash dash AR 18 colon 39. So the key part here is the dash dash AR 18 colon 39. So if you remember, our aspect ratio was 9 to 19.5. Um, with Midjourney, you can only use whole numbers for aspect ratios, or at least that's what I've found. So all we did is we just doubled these two numbers, so 18 and then 39, and that's what we use as our aspect ratio. So that's what dash dash AR means. So here are our results from our first prompt, and these look awesome. Um, really, really nice results, and I'll just go ahead and upscale a couple of these just so you guys can see them at a larger size um, but they turned out really good they followed our prompt really well and you can see it is the correct aspect ratio for um, all of those different iPhones you can see it's you know a vertical vertically aligned photo so uh, here's our first one upscaled here's the second one both of these super super nice results so uh, I'm going to show you a couple different variations that you can try and uh, a few more prompt ideas in these next couple uh, minutes. So for our next prompt, we used a serene and peaceful mountain reflecting on the still waters of a lake in the Canadian summertime, dash dash AR 18 colon 39. And once again, we got some absolutely beautiful results. These are really, really nice. Um, I'll upscale one of these again, just to show you guys at a bigger size, but I mean, absolutely gorgeous results. Um, and so for our last idea, what we are going to do while wow, this one uh, upscales. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's that is really nice. So detailed. Um, but for our last idea, what we're going to do is I know a lot of people like to have phone backgrounds of someone they love or maybe of themselves. And so we're going to use an example of uh, a photo of a person, but we're going to tweak the photo a little bit. So I'll show you what I mean. So. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and go over to this plus button down here and then click upload a file. All right. And so here you're going to want to go down. This is one that I used from a, a previous video um, that I got from Unsplash. So you're just going to select your photo that you want to use, open, and then hit return. All right. And you can see here we have the photo and then you're just gonna wanna click open in browser and then copy the link. So you go back to Discord and we're gonna type in forward slash imagine and then paste in our link right in there. And let's say we wanna tweak this a little bit. Um, what I'm gonna do is just say superhero dash dash AR 18 colon 39 so if you've seen my video um, about using reference photos this is kind of along the same lines but Midjourney version 5 does it even better than version 4 so I'll show you what I mean and now you can see our model is a superhero so we've got a cape a city in the background uh, some kind of dramatic poses uh, down here the Superman logo um, so you can see how that can be really cool you can really put in anything that you can imagine and get some awesome results so um, I'm just gonna upscale one of these just to show you guys at a bigger size but uh, pretty cool pretty cool things you can do with mid journey especially with version 5 um, and all you have to do is 
just like you would change your background on your phone with any other background. Uh, same thing with these, just download them, save them to your device and you can go from there. So um, these are just a couple quick tips. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I would really, really appreciate it if you do. And also let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see me make in the future. Thanks for watching.